Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about some amazing games for your teens and tweens, and hopefully this will give you some ideas on different types of games that you can get for them for the holidays that are coming up, or birthdays, or whatever it is. I also wrote a blog on this uh, where I went through a number of different games and talked about how each of them develop the brain and why they're so important. The ones I'm going to talk about today are board games, okay? I'm not going to talk about video games but board games because they are far better for building the brain than any video game out there. Now, how do I know that they are, will build the brain? Well, we had a game night every week in our family where we all gathered around and we did different types of board games. And I remember as a child, I loved board games. I remember the first one that I, I learned, my siblings taught me, was Uncle Wiggly. I don't even know if Uncle Wiggly's out there anymore. But I also remember playing Candyland, and I loved Candyland. So you can start when your kids are young, and you can do shoots and ladders and Candyland, and there's a whole plethora of different, different types of games out there that you can start them with. And as they grow older, you want to give them those games that are really going to build their brain. So let me give you a couple of suggestions. First of all, we're talking mainly teens and tweens here. The first one is Settlers of Catan. Now, according to my kids, that's a very addicting game, and it's all about building settlements and roads and cities and counties and all different things. Now, what are they going to learn? They learn how to strategize. They learn how to maneuver. They have to use higher order thinking skills of compare, contrast, and analyzing, synthesizing, and evaluating all of the different knowledges. It also, t knowledge, excuse me, it also teaches the math skills because as they're doing and they're building and it will teach us them some of the basics of economics. So that's one to consider. Another one is Hive. Hive is actually a board game, but there's no board. You, the players, are building the board. And the whole idea is to get the queen bee of the other opponents before they get yours. Now, this is not just like rolling the dice and moving the players. And you see a lot of that in like games like Sorry, there's a certain amount of strategizing. But it's pretty much just rolling the dice and moving the players. Now, in Hive, it is not that. You are strategizing, you are maneuvering, you have to think your plan out. It's like chess, but not quite like chess, but you are trying to build this board and trying to get the other opponent's queen bee. Another one <clears throat> is set. Now, the reason I put this in is a lot of parents have never heard of this. This actually is a card game, and it has all different types of shapes on the different cards. This one is all about visual perception. Okay, which is a very important thing as you remember some, uh, one of the things that I said in an earlier uh, one of these episodes is that visual perception has to do with everything that we learn. In order for us to read, you have to visually be able to see and perceive all of those letters and everything on a page. It's how we understand directions. It's how we are able to take information from a chalkboard or a whiteboard and put it down on our paper. So this game really helps and really builds visual perception and visual spatial, which all again, all of these, these are three different games that are very powerful. I mentioned Quirkle in another one that has to do with colors and shapes. These are all games that are going to help your kids to think and it will help them with visual perception. It will also help them with spatial. And if you recall when I told you, I was, I was talking about spatial, spatial is really important. It's picture smart because you're trying to form pic pictures in your mind. That is how your reading comprehension becomes better. That is how your higher forms of math becomes better because you're forming those pictures in your mind. That is the type of thinking of Albert Einstein. That's the type of thinking that you want your kids to have. So they're forming those pictures Albert Einstein, he saw E equals MC squared into his mind far earlier than it was ever put down on a piece of paper. So you want to help them with that. Now, I also list on, on the blog about the, the best brain building games for teens and tweens, I list one video game. Now, I personally, I've never, well actually I've never played a video game. But in talking to my kids about some of their favorite games growing up and now as adults, they told me that I needed to have at least one video game. I'm not going to tell you the name of it. You're going to have to go on. But I watched it, and I went through it very, very carefully. And there's a lot of strategizing. There's a lot of maneuvering. There's a lot of thinking that goes on. In fact, there's in-depth thinking. So I did put that one down. So go on the blog and find out which one it is. 
And uh, let me leave you with this quote, and this is by Albert Einstein. You have to learn the rules of the game, and then you have to play better than anyone else. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.